Dumpster is filled with documents, documents that have all sorts of personal information on them. Now police and state authorities are involved in a Get Marty that could turn into something bigger. Anything you want to know about this Penn Hills house? house and much of his personal information you can find in this dumpster. That's right, a dumpster. And Chuck Beatty doesn't like it. I have your mortgage, I have your address, I have the lot size, I have back, uh, back taxes. Is that okay with you? No, not at all. That's just uh, really disturbing. I also found Chuck's cell and work phones in the dumpster. I called Chuck from the dumpster information. But was pranking me at first, and I, I did actually recognize your voice. Look at this stuff. The dumpsters full of thousands and thousands of documents, all of them mortgage related. One of the dumpsters behind a middle school, the other at a high school. Addresses, every single piece of private information. The red flag first raised by these pictures, and then an email sent by Ed Stop, Marty. My wife and I found private mortgage information in the middle school paper recycling container. I'm upset about this. Please let me know if and what you are going to do. My daughter goes to school here and me and my wife just decided to recycle. I opened the lid and I'm like, oh my God. Ed's oh my God moment led him to send us the pictures. He wanted answers. I knew some, somebody was going to get in trouble and I was going to raise a stink. And uh, <laughs> you happen to be the lucky individual. The Pennsylvania Department of Insurance investigates allegations involving mortgage service companies. It takes a consumer complaint to get that started. We asked Ed to file the complaint. He did. The Kennedy County Police Department also got involved. In fact, they locked down the documents in the dumpsters. There were specific requirements that mortgage companies and other companies have to do to take care of their documents. He's right. The State Department of Insurance tells us they have opened an investigation. They confirm companies must shred such documents. They confirm companies that don't can face thousands of dollars in fines, can even lose their license to do business in Pennsylvania. Especially with a mortgage company, there's a trust that was broken. You're dealing with money, you're dealing with an individual who is a broker of that transaction. And for them to do this is inexcusable. The company being looked at, ServiceLink, a large local mortgage service company. As soon as we contacted them, they reacted, sending this email. Marty, this is the first we have heard of the documents you claim were discovered in recycle bins. We are investigating the of the documents. I could literally reach in and grab them. Shortly after we shot this video, ServiceLink took action. The company took all of these documents from the dumpsters. The company shredded all of the documents. They will now shred all documents on site. Turns out ServiceLink did not do this. The company hired an outside vendor to do title work. That company dumped the documents. Their claim, it's all public information. The Pennsylvania Department of Insurance is still investigating. Chuck Beatty, who believes all of his personal phone numbers and information are private, for him, the solution is simple. Shredding is not a complicated thing to do. I mean, they could, they could tend to it, and you and, and you like to think that they would. You would now, wouldn't you? Now, ServiceLink had nothing to do with this. As soon as I contacted them, they took immediate action. They gathered everything from all of those dumpsters and shredded it. The third-party provider who did it says all of this information is public. I say, ask the folks I call with their private cell work and home phone numbers about that. Meantime, we use some of the documents in the procedures and producing this story and we will shred them. Uh, we are starting that tonight. I have a lot of them actually. Uh, we have uh, stacks and stacks of them. We will make sure that every single one of them is shredded because, by the way, that's the law. Yeah. yeah this is like everybody's worst night. It is. Because yeah. what, you turn over this stuff and, and you don't know what happens to it. You no, know, and everybody's worried about what somebody can hack into, and then yeah. here you have this paper stuff. By the way, $5,000 fine for each violation. Pennsylvania Department of Insurance is in the middle of the investigation. It could take a while, and they don't comment on what they're doing when they're doing it. Okay, great. Right. And you're going to stay right. here all night shredding? Until tomorrow morning live, because <laughs> okay. I want to. During the newscast? <laughs> yes. Okay, all right, great. Martin. You'll be hearing it all through the 11th. <laughs> Thank right. you. Yeah.
And if you have a problem and you want to get Marty, you can send an email to getmarty at kdka.com or give a call to 412-575-2244 and visit kdka.com slash getmarty to see how he is making a difference one story at a time.